cosmic nurseries where stars take root. Space is sprinkled with vast clouds of gas and dust called nebulae. These nebulae, illuminated by nearby stars, are the birthplaces of stars. Gravity pulls scattered particles together. Over eons, these clouds collapse under their own weight. The material at the center compresses and heats up. This dense, hot core is a protostar. Eventually, nuclear fusion ignites. Hydrogen atoms fuse to form helium, releasing energy. This energy counteracts gravity. A star is born. The Orion Nebula is a stellar nursery. New stars ignite across the universe. Stellar Adolescence The Main Sequence Once a star achieves hydrostatic equilibrium, it enters a long, stable period known as the main sequence. This is the prime of a star's life, and it's where our own sun currently resides. During this phase, stars fuse hydrogen into helium, releasing energy as light and heat. The length of a star's main sequence lifetime depends on its mass. Massive stars burn through their hydrogen fuel much faster than smaller stars. Smaller stars can shine for billions even trillions of years. Giants in the Twilight Red Giants and Helium Fusion Eventually, even the longest-lived stars exhaust the hydrogen fuel in their cores. With no more hydrogen to fuse, the outward pressure from nuclear fusion weakens, and gravity begins to win the tug-of-war. The core contracts and heats up, while the outer layers of the star expand and cool, transforming the star into a red giant. As the core contracts, it becomes hot enough to ignite the fusion of helium, the ash of previous hydrogen fusion. Helium fusion produces heavier elements, such as carbon and oxygen, and releases even more energy, temporarily halting the star's collapse. However, this is only a temporary reprieve. Once the helium in the core is exhausted, the cycle of core contraction, heating and ignition of heavier elements continues. For stars like our Sun, this process culminates with the ejection of its outer layers, forming a beautiful planetary nebula. The core, now a dense, hot, white dwarf, slowly cools over billions of years. But for more massive stars, the story takes a more dramatic turn. Betelgeuse, a star on the brink. In the constellation Orion, the hunter, shines Betelgeuse, a bright red star marking the hunter's right shoulder. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant, a star far more massive than our sun in the final stages of its life. Its immense size is staggering, if placed at the center of our solar system, Betelgeuse would engulf the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, reaching almost to Jupiter. Betelgeuse is currently in a state of intense activity. It pulsates irregularly, its brightness fluctuating as it experiences massive convective cells and sheds its outer layers into space. These pulsations are a clear sign that Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life, its internal furnace struggling to maintain equilibrium against the relentless pull of gravity. Astronomers are closely monitoring Betelgeuse, eager to witness the next chapter in its stellar evolution. The star's recent dimming episodes have fueled speculation that it might be on the verge of a supernova explosion. However, predicting the exact timing of such an event is incredibly challenging. Supernovae, the spectacular death of massive stars. When a star significantly more massive than our sun exhausts its nuclear fuel, it can no longer support its own weight. The core collapses rapidly, triggering a catastrophic explosion known as a supernova. This cataclysmic event briefly outshines the combined light of billions of stars in its host galaxy. Supernovae are not merely destructive events. They are also crucial for the evolution of the universe. The intense heat and pressure during a supernova explosion forge heavy elements, such as gold, platinum, and uranium. These elements scattered into space by the supernova shockwave eventually become incorporated into new stars, planets, and even life itself. The Crab Nebula, a supernova remnant visible with a small telescope, is a testament to the power of these cosmic explosions. Its intricate filaments of glowing gas expanding outward at thousands of kilometers per second tell a tale of a star's violent death and the subsequent birth of something new. Betelgeuse's Supernova, a celestial spectacle for science. Betelgeuse's eventual supernova, while still uncertain in its timing, will be a momentous event for astronomers. It will be the closest supernova visible from Earth in centuries, offering an unprecedented opportunity to study these events in detail. Scientists will use a battery of telescopes both on the ground and in space to observe the explosion across the electromagnetic spectrum. The data collected from Betelgeuse's supernova will provide valuable insights into the lives and deaths of massive stars. By studying the light curves, spectra, and expanding debris cloud, 
astronomers can refine their models of stellar evolution, understand the processes that create heavy elements, and gain a deeper understanding of the universe's history. Moreover, Betelgeuse's proximity to Earth means that its supernova will be visible to the naked eye, even in broad daylight. This celestial spectacle will captivate sky watchers around the world, reminding us of the dynamic nature of the universe and our place within it. Echoes of creation understanding our place in the cosmos. From the cosmic nurseries where stars take root to the dramatic deaths of massive stars and supernova explosions, the universe is a stage for an awe-inspiring cosmic drama. Studying these stellar phenomena is not merely an academic pursuit but a profound exploration of our own origins. The atoms in our bodies, the iron in our blood, the calcium in our bones, all were forged in the fiery hearts of stars long gone. We are, in a very real sense, stardust. By understanding the life cycle of stars, we gain a deeper appreciation for our connection to the cosmos, recognizing that we are not merely observers of the universe, but active participants in its grand unfolding story. As we gaze up at the night sky, let us remember that each twinkling point of light represents a distant sun, many harboring their own systems of planets. The universe is vast and full of mysteries, but by studying the lives and deaths of stars, we take one step closer to unraveling its secrets and understanding our place within its grand cosmic tapestry.